G'day Australia mate again. I'm going to keep doing these uh, short videos just to give you um, a full understanding of what we're doing, what we're trying to achieve and um, how you can help. Um, today I want to talk about what's next, what happens when we fully restore our lawful constitution and we will, trust me, with your help. Okay, the first thing that we would need to do is to um, is to have a constitutionally lawful governor general appointed. That's not someone appointed by politicians. It would have to be somebody um, that we know and trust. It could be a caretaker role, um, but that's the first thing we have to do. That person would then have authority under the under our lawful constitution to prorogue the parliament. Proroguing the parliament means stop it, all right, and and put it into caretaker mode. It's the same as what happens during uh, or, or um, just before an election happens. So the government goes into caretaker mode. We need a, a suitable person to do that. It could even be a panel, but the point is, under our lawful constitution, we have to have a governor general. Now, that could be governor's general. We don't know. But certainly there will be a person or persons that caretake our governmental systems um, and our parliaments until such time as we can do the next thing that we need to do, which which is to set up constitutional conventions, just like they did um, pre nineteen hundred to um, establish, uh, uh, under sorry, to explain the establishment of um, the federation, which is the Commonwealth of Australia, and the constitution, the lawful constitution that would uh, bind that federation um, in law. And so that's what we need to do. Now we've got plenty of venues because we have. Um, in our Commonwealth, all of the federal government, so-called federal government buildings, all of the state government buildings, all of the courts, the uh, the local shires, the local councils, all those assets belong to the Commonwealth of Australia. And that's you and me and everyone else, okay? So that's the second thing that we would do. Now, while we're doing that, and um, obviously we would, um, we would be looking to set up panels of people um, all throughout Australia, um, of people who understand the Constitution, um, how it works, um, and how it lawfully works, and and uh, and to just to um, to uh, accumulate or to gather all of the information that comes from you, the people, because it's it's this country is 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 governed at your will. It should be, and it will be again soon. So that we need to find out what you want for Australia and Australians moving forward. And to do that, the only way we can do that is to ask you, and we can't do that any other better way than to, to, than to have constitutional um, conventions all over Australia, Tasmania, um, and anywhere else that we happen to be, um, Northern Territory, obviously, I keep forgetting Northern Territory, um, and, and, um, and just to garner the will of the Australian people. While we're doing that, we would also be looking for suitable um, uh, uh, parliamentary representatives. Now, forget about politician. That is an ugly word. It is a, a corrupt... Uh, um, uh, it, it, it brings on anger and, and, and visions of corruption. So we don't want to use that word anymore, politician, because, you know, a politician used to be a statesman. That, that's that gone out the window many, many, many years ago. So we want parliamentary uh, parliamentarians, parliamentary representatives of the people in, in a constitutionally lawful parliament. And obviously the best time to find those people is while we're having the, uh, the, the constitution conventions. Now, during those constitutional conventions, we'll also be discussing ideas from our advisory panel, um, our constitutional advisory panel, which is basically the things that we have to change, um, you know, almost immediately, so we can make sure that this situation we're currently in never, ever, ever could ever happen again. So in other words, no person or entity could ever, ever again in Australia have more power than the will of the Australian people. And the other thing that we, that we desperately need or one of the other things we desperately need is is public initiated referendum, which means that we can keep our parliamentarians honest during their term of office because we if we see something we don't like now there has to be rules around this and there has to be um, you know governing principles around this to to make sure that people are just not being frivolous and and uh, doing silly things but if you see something where um, you know the parliament's decided let's say the parliament's decided to give uh, fifty million dollars to um, some other nation and 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 you don't think that that's a good idea because we've got more things to do in Australia with that money than what what you know than what we need to do elsewhere in other nations then you get together a group of people and and around these 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 um um uh, 
uh, systems, if you like, or, or guidelines for uh, for public initiated referenda, and then you lodge um, um, a um, a public referenda request, and then if that is um, is all above board and it's all sorted out, then that would that would then go to the people in a referenda. Now we're all all looking at electronic. Um, uh, or to do these things electronically, to vote electronically, um, all these things. Now, I know that, you know, there's been some issues in the United States, or has there, we don't really know because there's too much, you know, um, as fake news floating around to, to sort out what's true and what's what's not true. But certainly there is the technology there to, for us to do these referendums by um, uh, electronic voting and also our um, elections by electronic voting. Um, and you know, with the technologies that we've got the, these days, surely we can we can get something that um, can be monitored, can be um, um, you know um, given the stamp of uh, of, of authenticity and um, validity um, and lawfulness. So that's that's the other thing. So those referendums have to be done. And the other one, of course, is that what is everyone is talking about, which can't be done straight away because we really need to get to know what the people want, is a bill of rights style. Um, uh, document or, or clause inserted into our constitution. Now, there's certain things in our lawful constitution that that need to be updated um, to bring it in line with the Australia that we that we want, and also to bring it up to date to 2020. Because remember, this was written 120 years ago. So you know, I mean, it's 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 a long time, um, and th there's only been eight lawful changes because you, the people, have only allowed the constitution to be changed eight times. And um, as I always say, that doesn't include the Australia Act of 86 because that's definitely not lawful. So um, that's that's really what what we want to do. And from there, obviously, we can we can start to rebuild our nation um, with all the things that are going on around the world. I just want you to to let you know that it is common knowledge in in people who do um, what we call deep dive research that Australia is capable of self sufficiency in a very, very, very short space of time. We have everything we need here to be a safe, to be a self-sustaining nation for a long, long, long time. So don't be sucked into all of these, um, you know, these, these ideas that, that um, um, you know, if something happens in America, we're screwed. We're not, we're, we're, we're okay. If something happens in the UK, we're screwed. We're not. We're okay, and we will we will be okay as long as we can unite as one. Now, our lawful rebellion um, Aussie Patriots role is not is not designed to do anything other than to group the people together with the same um, commitment, and that is to fully restore our lawful constitution. We haven't been a united nation for a very, very, very long time, and I really just realised what I said, United Nation. We haven't been a united Australia for a very, very long time. And, you know, one of the things that, you, that, that we used to be known for is, is helping each other out. We used to, you know, help a mate, roll your sleeves up and get in there and help. Um, and, you know, we always, we knew our neighbours, our kids played together in the streets and, and in the neighbourhoods and, and, and we helped each other. And, you know, if, if, if uh, you know, Joe Blow down the road was doing it tough, we'd, we'd go and give him a hand. Or if he was doing a big job around the house, we'd give him a hand. Those things have gone and we need to get them back. Constitutional studies in our schools, gone back in the 70s, early 70s. That needs to come back. We need to teach our children um, that, that they do have rights and that they can make changes, but they have to be thought out changes and they have to be um, put to the people because we're a, we're a constitutional monarchy, but we're also supposedly a democracy, which means that everyone gets a vote. One vote, one person for one item. That's it. Um, and then, and then that, that repeats itself all through our, our political systems. So that's where we're going forward. Now, there is a lot of finer points that we need to sort out. But one thing is absolutely certain right now at this very time, and that is we need you. We need you. We need your brother, your sister, your mum, your dad, your cousins, your nephews, your nieces. We need everyone to start understanding um, what our lawful constitution is all about and how it's been set aside and put in a, in a corporate um, uh, systematic in, um, um, version has been put in its place and culminating in 1986 with the with the um, well, it's actually before 1986, but it's certainly in the in the in the act that um, of the Queen of Australia and, and supposedly removing Australia from the British Commonwealth. No, 
So um, we need to get together, we need to unite. And soon there will be videos coming out, our educational, um, a constitutional education series with, with Wayne, uh, with backup from Dick and, and Richard. Um, and um, they will be um, short videos to, to explain all the way from Federation up to, um, and going through all the things that have happened that you probably don't know about, which were done without your permission. Okay, and that should have had your permission. So all those things up to where we are now, um, which is facing the new world order uh, globalization agendas, which we we just don't want here. Um, we're Australia for Australians, and that's what we should be first. And anything else after that is up to the to the Australian people. Of course, everything is up to the Australian people. But if they want to give some some money away to a foreign nation under the guise of foreign aid. Um, nine times out of ten, I think we were we we are better equipped to to put boots on the ground and say, look, you need a hospital built. We're not going to give you the money. We're going to build you the hospital, and things like that. We've done it before. We've done it in East Timor. Um, we've done it to a certain degree in uh, in uh, New Guinea. Um, we've helped out countries all around the world when they want help um, on things that they can't handle. They call the Aussies. Okay, so we must be pretty good at what we do. And if that's the case, we need to now be pretty pretty good at, at what we do in, in rallying together to help other people and help ourselves. That's all I've got for you today. Red Ensign is there, our du jour flag, um, which is the 1901-03 version. Anything else is not, not, um, is not the people's flag. It's a corporate flag. Um, and, um, you know, subscribe to our channel. You won't get the information as quickly if you don't okay and um and if you've got comments and things like that the email address is on there don't don't leave them on youtube because it's too difficult to to um uh, the functionality of youtube on a mobile device is is appalling all right so it's very very difficult so email aussie patriots role at protonmail.com and you know we've got a website which which will be in the in the um, in the notes of here. We've got uh, our enrolment form. We've got lots of things that you probably don't know about. You get a, a confirmation email when you enrol, and it has lots of instructions in it. And it has one instructions to send that information and confirm it to um, our Aussie Patriots members only page. So um, and it's a, it's a secure website. It's a secure email. Lots of people registering, no one's reading the, the, the letter. And you should keep that letter because that letter is proof of your enrolment. So you're a bona fide uh, enrolled Aussie patriot. So um, it's all in that email, that confirmation email. If you don't get it within 24 hours, check your junk mail and your spam because it could be in there. And then whitelist that email address because there'll be other emails coming from, from us, from these emails that you get from us. So whitelist them. If you don't know how to do it, Google, um, and but whitelist us so that we, so that you, you your um, communications don't go into junk mail. Anyone that hasn't given us a phone number yet needs to uh, needs to give us preferably a mobile. It's a second level of security if we if we need to contact you and your email is down. So we need that as well. And anyone who who enrolled um, via the Aussie Patriots role uh, at protonmail.com email address, please enroll on the online because it's it's part of your declaration. Okay, if you've got any questions at all, email me, ask me. We'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can, but we'll always get back to you. All right, that's all i got. So uh, Advance Australia Fair, um, if you really love this country and you want this country to survive the, the, uh, the UN New World Order globalisation agenda, you need to get behind this. Wayne is fighting hard, Dick is fighting hard, Richard is fighting hard, I am. There's lots of other Heath Taters out there. There's lots of people who are fighting for you. And now we need you to back us up. That's all it is, you know. So look forward to seeing your enrolment soon. Um, God bless. Bye.